Still staying at the south, we want to get our final presentation for best practices category. And uh, we want to call upon the Transaction Support Center from 71.4 Consulting in partnership with the Center for Affordable Housing Finance in Africa. And we have our presenter standing on the ready there. This is Jessica Bray, uh, who is coming up. Please put your hands together and make me welcome Jessica on the stage as well. Hello everyone, my name is Jessica and I'm here from the Transaction Support Centre, an action research project that supports formal tenure and property rights for low income urban households in South Africa and based out of Cape Town at the moment. So many of you here today will be very aware of the large scale government subsidised housing programme that has been run in South Africa for the last close to 30 years. And while this programme has been fantastic in delivering housing to the poor, it's done a less well job of enabling these households to realize the full benefit of that housing beyond shelter. And this is due to two main reasons. Firstly, we've got a very expensive and inaccessible system to maintain title deeds in the country. And we've got a large scale title deed backlog, which is estimated to be approximately 1 million properties. And that's largely due to government administrative failure. And this problem is not new, it's well known. But what is new is the approach we're taking to try and resolve it. So the TC works with clients directly on the ground and provides free advice and assistance on their various title deed related challenges. And by resolving these client cases and documenting the experiences, we are co-creating solutions to the immediate challenges our clients face across a range of stakeholders in the public and private sector. And we're feeding these learnings up into the policy making domain to drive the long term systemic change that we need. But the impact of our program is really best described through our clients. So I want to introduce you today to Nomotile and Elizabeth. These are two female registered property owners who live in the urban township called Kailiche in Cape Town. But this wasn't the case for many years. In both of these women's cases, they lived without formal security of tenure and access to the, lever the leverageable housing assets. In the case of Nomotile, it was because her husband, the registered property owner, died in 2010, and she simply didn't have the financial means or the knowledge and access to information to transfer that property from her husband into her name. And Elizabeth is a 53-year-old domestic worker who used her really hard-earned savings to buy a plot of land in Kailicha in 2004. It was via informal or off-register means, so it was never registered in the formal uh, the re deeds registry. And this left her open and vulnerable to risks of eviction and threats of harassment by the registered property owner who sold her the property. But critically, it meant that she could never access a building subsidy from the government to build a top structure on that plot of land or, of course, access formal housing finance. These are just two of the over 1,400 clients we've seen since 2018. We've helped resolve almost 500 of these cases, which has unlocked between five to six million dollars in capital that was previously sitting as what some say dead capital, an asset that simply couldn't be leveraged for economic benefits such as housing finance. But beyond this, what we're really doing is creating an evidence base that we are really proud that is driving what we hope will drive the long-term systemic change that we need, and we're very proud of the fact that we have been instrumental in putting this agenda in the office of the presidency. And partly we've done that by demonstrating the scale of the problem. So in one area, which was kind of the immediate vicinity around our initial physical pilot office, an area of approximately 5,500 properties, Using a variety of data sources, we found that 45% of these properties had one or more known title deed problems with an estimated value of 28 million US dollars. But this is not unique to this area. It's certainly not unique to Cape Town or South Africa. We know this problem exists in Kenya and in many other countries across the continent. And we know it's not an easy problem to solve. Titling and tenure issues are incredibly complex. And whilst in our situation, we're driving towards making the freehold titling process more efficient, effective, affordable, and inclusive for our low-income in urban households, we realize that this might not be the only way to do it. In order for this relationship to really work between the citizen and the city, the titling process needs proper processes, 
policies, people, technology, and transaction support. And if that's in place, we believe we can meet the Sustainable Development Goal 11 of making our cities inclusive and resilient. This was important pre-pandemic. It's even more important now. So we're on this long-term journey, but what I want you to take away from today is that, yes, this is going to not happen overnight, but it didn't stop us from actually starting. We started, we're making real change, and that's because we had a solution mindset. We have supported donors with a shared vision, private sector partners, very importantly, win willing, open, and dedicated public officials. And you can do this too. So I want to thank you today for listening. I encourage you to learn from my experience. I would love to learn from yours. Thank you very much. Thank you. Don't go away, Jessica. Just remain here with me. And you can take your seats right now because I think we want to just 